up guys today i'm going to go through this tracked freeze frame effect using the new built-in tracker into final cut pro you will need the updated final cut pro version 10.6 or above uh, to do this effect so let's get into the editing here is my raw video clip that i'm going to be adding this effect to so the first thing i'm going to do is go to the part on the video clip that i want to freeze frame and then right there on the video clip i'm going to select it and press m on the keyboard to create a marker and now I'm going to create an object track. So I'm going to select the video clip, go over here to trackers, press the little plus sign and the tracker window will come up. So I'm going to make this nice and small. And then I'm going to choose a point in the background, which is also close to the subject. And then I'm going to click analyze on the top left here. And before I go anywhere else, I'm just going to check that the tracker stays in the same position. So as we get to here, it starts moving. So I'm just going to go through frame by frame on these last ones and just move the tracker back into position. And then I'm going to click done. So next step is to copy and paste the video clip. And then where the marker is, I'm going to create a freeze frame. So I'm going to press shift and H. So that creates this uh, freeze frame here. And then I'm just going to extend the freeze frame so it covers the whole video clip and then just trim the ends and then i'm going to go to my effects tab and go to uh, masks uh, draw mask and just add the draw mask effect to this freeze frame and then i'm going to zoom in and cut around the image so now that i have the freeze frame what i'm going to do is apply the tracker that we made to this uh, free frame so i'm going to select it hit the transform tool and then go up here to tracker hit the drop down menu and select the object track that we made click done and then what you need to do is go to the marker select the video clip and just make sure the freeze frame is perfectly lined up with the video clip and then click done and then depending on what type of effect you want to do, you can either trim either side of the marker so that your subject is going into the freeze frame, just like that. We can move this freeze frame to the other side of the marker. So that looks something like this. I think having it on the first half of the video clip, video clip looks kind of cool. So to cut out more of the freeze frame, what you can do is select it and add another draw mask and cut out portions of the freeze frame and then go over to your uh, draw mask effect and just click invert mask so that way you can cut out areas in between the mask you already created and yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you're looking for any final cut pro plugins or if you're interested in my color presets i add in the intro video clips and check out my website the link is down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one